Mina, what are three words that describe you? Three words, funny, resilient, and loving. How do you start your day? Coffee and hugs and kisses from my children. What do you look for when hiring? A real understanding and, and passion for what we do. I think that Phenomenal is making a very unique contribution and making sure that the candidate really feels that and is, is ultimately committed to that. What's your favorite part of your job? I have so many favorite parts of my job. I think learning about and meeting incredible, phenomenal women who I've had the honor of getting to know over the last four years. What was your first job and what lessons did you learn from it? I was always seeking out jobs, including making photocopies for my next door neighbor, other little odd jobs anywhere that I could find them. I think I learned at a very young age that I was entrepreneurial and I think I was starting to show that and I always had like 10 jobs. <laughs> Any advice for recent graduates? Recent graduates, just be kind to yourself. The whole world is ahead of you and there's so much that you will do and, and hopefully have the opportunity to do. So just be open to different paths. You have plenty of time to do all the extraordinary things that I know you will do. How do you stay organized? My calendar is my Bible. It rules everything. If something is not in my calendar, I'll, I'll miss it. It's also just being really ruthless with my time management and really prioritizing what I need to get done. What is the best piece of advice you have ever gotten? Keep your eye on the ball, stay focused. Don't allow others to define you or to distract you. If you have a vision and a purpose, pursue it boldly and stay true to yourself in, the, in that journey. Tell us about your latest project. We are doing an incredible campaign so people know what the Crown Act is to support the work of the Crown Coalition, which is fighting to pass Crown Act legislation nationwide. And it is protecting race-based hairstyles in the workplace uh, from discrimination. The bare minimum, of course, is not to be discriminated against for your hairstyles, but I hope to really shift culture and conversation around celebrating that and making it something that is celebrated by everyone. I'm really excited about that campaign.